it's Peggy and Kevin. Hi, I'm Kevin. That's Kevin. The that mystery one, guy. That guy belongs to Don. That's Don's husband. <laughs> we are answering questions. You guys have sent in some questions for the two of us to answer, and we are going to be going over them, and there may be shenanigans involved. There is definitely shenanigans. Shenanig yeah. It's going to happen. So that happened. So yeah, enjoy. Okay, we have some questions. Really? Yeah. <laughs> we never knew. That's we're so what we're surprised. doing here today. Okay. Okay. Why don't we start with hobbies? Have we focused on Kevin's shirt yet? Oh, welcome oh. to the shit show. Yes. Amazing. Yes. Freaking diamond. Perfect. I love mm. that. Just to make sure that everybody understands what's about to happen here. We can start with the big deal. Question. Well, yes, I'm having a good time. Yeah, Are you having a good time? Absolutely. I'm having a wonderful Isn't time. Isn't it great? Baby. Thanks for asking, guys. <laughs> I'd like you to welcome to you to our home. And, yep, thank and you. A lovely home it is. Thank you. Don't need to be here. Okay. Yeah. Let's just. Okay. Okay. Start. Let's start with the big. Okay. We have most of these questions are collected from from the internet from the community that we've asked. You people asked for this. Hi, internet. Yeah. You guys asked for this. No bitching. Okay. The first question is: How does it feel to be the partner of a? And I'm putting this in air quotes. Well-known YouTuber. We didn't write the well-known part. Okay. No, that's why it's in air quotes. <laughs> Please. Well, for me, it's, I've been doing this with you since the beginning. So for me, it's like, well, eh, eh. I, I don't know. I don't have an answer to that. I really don't. I, I'm on your channel on a regular basis. So it's kind of fun. It's yeah, a lot I get of fun. to drag you on with me. Yeah, for me, it's a lot of fun. Um, I am super proud of Dawn. Uh, I think she's done a great job. I, I like the fact that she has uh, has become into the well known. I will do the air quotes for you. <laughs> Thank you, Kevin. Well known. Well known uh, star that she is. I'm, I'm super Aww. proud of her. Oh, you're good at this shit. I'm a star. <laughs> Are you taking notes, honey? No. <laughs> He's been trained. <laughs> I'm giving credit where credit is due, but. The internet knows that Peggy loves to sew, but okay. what about Kevin? What kind of hobbies? Uh, my hobbies are actually, uh, I build motorcycles. So I restore old motorcycles. I have a pretty, well, large collection at this point. Uh, you have more than one. I have more than one. I have more than two and more than five. Yes, you um, do. So. <laughs> so I like to tinker. I like to, I like to uh, work with my hands and just put on some headphones, get out in the garage, yeah. and get dirty. I saw your shop. It looks cool. Do you get dirty? No, I sew. <laughs> Here, let's go. I'll help you tinker, then I'll sew some shit that we can throw hey, away. I need, so, I need seats, seat covers. That'd be great. <laughs> that, this is why they don't let you ask the questions, Lisa. <laughs> it's true. It's true. I used to garden, though. When I was gardening, I was... Uh, always dirty. Always dirty. Mm -hmm. How do you really feel about your wife's debt collection? Speaking <laughs> of collections. I think it's great. I mean, except as long as it stays into her space and and <laughs> doesn't expand well it's actually expanded a little bit but doesn't get <laughs> overwhelming in the space you're not uh, scared yet i'm not scared yet because there i have i have my space and yeah. you know the garage well, yeah, is full and and it'll get her stuff dirty so she can't take it exactly over. all right mm -hmm. i'm just scared all the time <laughs> <laughs> i just bought two decks today you bought two decks for who, though? Me. Uh, like I'm scared. Mm -hmm. You're yes. It's it's your you are contagious. Your collect your thing is contagious. I think the internet yes. would agree. That's a Kevin good, has the better idea. <laughs> Kevin has the better point. idea. Find some place that's too dirty for your stuff, and then that's just, true. Yeah, that is actually it's a mine. pretty good strategy. Yeah. <laughs> so did you do it on purpose, or was it a happy accident? It was a happy accident. Yeah, actually. good, yeah. good. That's mm -hmm. awesome. It's great when it works out that way. <laughs> Because just this morning I was helping with tires and I'm like, ew, it's dirty. Why am I touching it? Those and tires like, were clean, Internet, I can tell you that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's like, yeah, then there's not one deck is ever going to find its way into your space. No, I don't think so. <laughs> I make tarot stuff. That's how bad it got for me. It's like, I'd like to take up some sewing. It's like, well, here, tarot. Where do you sit on tarot for yourself or how you feel about tarot? I do tarot. I'm a, for, I'm a forever noob. I don't think anybody's, I don't think I can say anything that anybody is surprised by because I'm a forever noob tarot reader. So yeah, I'm into it. <laughs> cool. Um, I'm a little different. I, I think it's fascinating. Um, you know, Dawn has done some readings for me, showed me some cards, kind of taught me little things here and there. It's not my bag that, and that's okay. That's you know? fair enough. At least you're supporting it. 100%. Yeah. I, think it's, I think it's fascinating. Yeah, I, but we know people, well, we know, know of people who their spouses are like, ew, it's like, 
It's like, nah. No, it's cool. And I'm, you know, being a designer myself, I, I appreciate all oh, the, the artwork. Oh, the art then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh my God. Some of the artwork is amazing. It is. I got, I picked, I've, I've, I've ended up with a couple of different decks just for the art. And mm -hmm. I was like, I'm like a big forever noob. So it's like, I, I can't keep it. Cause I'm just keep, I'm, it's like, <laughs> I'm not a collector. She is. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how do you support your wife's passions and projects? For me, it's really easy. Like, I mean, everything, my, my, my entire thing started because I was making her bags. So we're very interconnected on what we're doing. So it's a pretty boring answer for me. Pretty interconnected on what we do. I do readings now. I do readings way more than I ever did back in the day. So, yeah, for me, it's pretty seamless. You're the one that's got the harder answer. Well, I mean, you know. Support comes in all forms, right? Yeah, so yeah. Uh, I support Dawn by oh, giving I her see. time and space. She has her own space to do everything. Well, you played Uber to take us to a well, witchy store today. So. 100%. <laughs> so he's, the support's obviously there, but for me, it's uh, like, for me, it's like super simple. It's like, well, here's my deck. <laughs> I try not to uh, be loud when she's recording. I always, oh, okay. I always am aware, especially on the weekends when I'm out working in my garage, which oh. for the viewers that don't know, the uh, her office and the garage is literally opposite each other. So yeah, they're really they're right close. There, yeah. um, so I try to be aware of that and make sure I'm not running nice. all the noisy tools and things like that. Wow. Okay, this question is for Kevin. Where your beliefs sit, have those changed over time? Like with Dawn being into tarot, do you find mm -hmm. that like you, your mind has opened more to it? or that it stayed kind of the same. Yeah. So again, I find it fascinating. I find it interesting. I, I don't, it's, it's it's just not my thing. It doesn't intrigue me as much as it, it intrigues you guys, which I, yeah, I also yeah. find fascinating. No, it's Lisa great. I, Lisa and I are the same because because our, our like she is like way into it in a, in a different way than I am. Mm -hmm. So, but you're not, but you're into it in a different way as well. So well, like, I mean, you know, I just, you know, I, I, I think it's fascinating. You guys, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. you will wake up in the morning and you will do a reading and you will see That's, how their day is going. That's awesome. I heard, I was, you know, she was talking about that today. I <laughs> yeah. thought it was amazing. Yeah. No, it's kind of interesting. It's like, it's like there's all, there's all four types, I guess, that are supportive of it without being mm -hmm. like either no hard yeses and no hard noes here. Mm -hmm. Which is kind of neat. I think it's fun. I think I, I've always really, I've always really liked it, but it was only because of you. Kevin's happy where he is, and I went, ooh, more, and I was like, yeah. Well, and, and again, Dawn doesn't, you know, I mean, she exposes me to it at yeah, a certain yeah. extent, but you guys are much more related to that, whereas we yeah, are not. Yeah, absolutely, so it's, absolutely. It's very minimal thing. exposure that I get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if I just stayed at minimal exposure, then you and I would be going, oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. It would have been, like, totally blending. Like, So this question is for both of you. Okay. Do you feel that... Dawn and my, like, how the way that we practice tarot has had an effect on your relationship with us in any way. Good, bad, indifferent. Relationship between you and I, I don't think it's, I mean, it's, it's given us something to bond more over, but I don't think it's, I don't know, I never thought of it that way. You go. I, I've got no. <laughs> Your turn. That's fair. I just, I just got more and more involved, and I just, not something I've really given any thought to. I think what I have noticed, not so much about our relationship, but about Dawn in particular, uh, what I have noticed is that it is, you know, once she started becoming famous and getting into the community, <laughs> I'm gonna do that now. Big deal. <laughs> you are a big deal. Well, but I really think, you know, Dawn enjoys helping others. And I see yeah. that, and I can see that, and I know when she has a good day and we talk about it and I can see it in her voice. So I guess in a way it has, because you know, when we sit and we you know, catch yeah, up in the yeah. evening, it, it really makes a difference in her attitude and, and you know, seeing that is, okay. has been wonderful. That is, that is fair because I think, yeah, per, from personal growth perspectives, mm -hmm. that's, you've really used tarot for that on a lot of ways. Okay, I just never had a reason to think about it because it's just been a slow, natural progression for me. So it's like, what do you mean? What's going on? Is this something we've always done? That's, so, uh, tell us your sun sign. <laughs> Why do you want me to start? Because I've been st answering, I think I've been answering <laughs> all of them first. throwing you to the wolves, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> because I did the whole, what the fuck are you talking about before, and they went, uh, your zodiac sign? And it's like, okay. Oh, zodiac sign. Yeah. I, yeah. That's what Virgo? Is that, yeah. that, that's that's astrology. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that the same thing? I don't know exactly what a sun sign is. I don't do I. I go, okay, I, I had, she had to tell me. <laughs> I know it's Zodi, I'm a Sagittarius, but she had to tell me. See, it says I was supposed to be a policeman right there. <gasps> does it actually say that? Doc, dentist, doctor, writer, policeman. Wait, what does it say? Yeah, what does it bro. say for cancer? <laughs> writer kind of makes me laugh. <laughs> I know, but right? Policeman, yeah, you could have totally been a policeman. Cancer. Cancer says historian, nurse, uh, hotelier, hotelier, hotelier? Hotel, is that what Hotelier. Hotelier. 
Oh, or I, sailor. I would say the frog. Well, <laughs> well, sailor. Well, sailor. <laughs> Sagittarius. What did Sagittarius say? Uh, explorer, oh. lawyer, priest, or philosopher? Philosopher. Philosopher. That would fit, but not. It says we seek. We seek. Yeah. We seek. Yeah. We're going to ask Sorry. another question. Give me that. <laughs> <laughs> Give me that so you're not distracted. My problem, my astrology has always been just so far over my head that I just lose, I can't retain any of it, like, ever. Mm -hmm. So, this is a two parter. So first, because I'll break it down for you. Uh-oh. I can't remember two things at once. I know. Once. I'm breaking it down for you. Okay. So what is your favorite thing about your wife's tarot tube life? I, I think it honestly goes back to a similar answer where, you know, it, you love it. Oh, see, I was thought you were going to say it keeps me occupied, not of your hair. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's my answer. Is that your answer? <laughs> no, it makes you happy. It does make me happy. That's kind of my only answer. Like, I mean, if she wasn't liking it, she wouldn't be doing it. So, yeah. Okay, so what is your least favorite part of your wife's tarot tube life? <laughs> That's your least favorite part? My, well, the, 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 no, the house full of decks. I don't think I have a least favorite part. I think the least favorite part was when you are famous, um, that there is some expectation and I do see at times it does wear on Dawn a little bit. Like I need to get the video up or I've gotten not oh, ready for this. So there's, yeah, there's a lot of back end that not a lot of people think yeah, about. I'm that, so used to it, it that I just didn't have I, I'm so mm -hmm. used to it that I don't give it any thought. But no, that would be that would be like, I'm like, hey, let's go do this. And it's like, oh, I gotta get these videos up. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, let's do that. Oh, I'm, I'm behind on this filming. So yeah, yeah, because you, you guys both focus on consistency, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, so mm -hmm. I'll, I'll just ditto. I'll just ditto what you said. Still my answers. I am. I'm stealing the credit for them too. You just watch me. That's fine. <laughs> so okay with that. Okay, Kevin's got the better answers, man. Cause he's doing great. Yeah. He's putting you to shame. Yeah. <laughs> that's he's okay. Saying all the nice things too. Like he's. That's why I'm taking credit for some of his answers. <laughs> I don't think it works that way, babe. What? Nothing. It's fine. It's fine. Look, I am the queen, and you guys just have to deal. Okay. Oh, okay. You can do, okay. Um, we, we all know. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we See don't really sure. have an answer to this. Yeah, exactly. Give it some thought. Uh oh. If what if any behind the scenes secrets or insider information do you have that you can spill to the internet? Behind the scenes, it's an open secret that I've had a big part in helping you develop some of your content. True. But you're the one that has to go do it all. <laughs> You're hey, here's an idea. Off you go. You're, it's you're like, often my idea machine. Yeah, I'm that's your idea machine. Mm -hmm. That's not, that's, I don't think that's a big, huge secret. No. I don't think that's a big, huge secret. So that's just my job. Um, I have a background in video production and Dawn will not let me help or look at anything. She will ask me advice sometimes, but she knows that I will do what I do, which is yeah. take over and fix every, and it's just, yeah. So. yeah it's like, you stay Separation, with... separation. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we, we are the opposite. We are the joined at the hip. So it's like... I was like, guys, it's only filmed from here up. Oh, yeah, She'll yeah, be yeah. in pajama bottoms almost all the time. Her. Guaranteed. Her. her. She has Either got one. These, she has I'm got sure. these fuzzy, fuzzy pajama pants. And she's wearing on her little pajama pants and a really nice shirt, full face of makeup. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's pants valid. are optional. Oh, and slippers. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I got the slippers going. Yep. Yeah. yeah, when you're Over filming... Put together. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Here up, put together. Here down. It's like it's what the. It's like what the hell happened to you? It's no longer remarkable anymore. It's like, oh, full makeup and jammies. You're going to do some filming. It's like. <laughs> do you ever think just no more cards? Absolutely, every fucking day. <laughs> Wait, for you or for her? For me. Yeah. For both of us. <laughs> oh, That's nice. the answer. I don't even collect. I I do not collect. I I have a thing for mini decks. And now I have about 20 decks, which- So you collect, that's the no. definition no. of collecting. No, no, I resent that question. No. What about you, Kevin? Uh, I mean, life is short. If it makes you happy, do it. Now, Peggy, Kevin has some <laughs> sage advice. I really think you should take Did you this. see his shirt? <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the shirt? I'm not listening to Kevin. <laughs> Well, actually, I am, but only the stuff I want to hear. Okay, <laughs> okay. Is we 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 have a we have a limit 
because you have a limit of, of space where you can well, actually there put is, that. There's a, a physical limit. There's a physical limit. We have a lot of walls as long I have as, not <laughs> hung decks on yet. As long as we can stay inside the physical limit and not clutter up our place with junk, this about decks, <laughs> there's such a thing as too much of a good thing. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, as long as they are, as long as we are not tripping over boxes of decks and can't move around normally in our house, I probably don't care. So if, if you could make any deck out of anything, any fandom, any topic, what would it be? I know what yours would be. What? The big deck of motorcycles. I was thinking that same thing, but I, I not just motorcycles, because motorcycles is one thing. That's, you know, yeah, yeah. it's a piece of equipment, but the motorcycle culture. Yes. So, right. yes. So, you, yeah, so, you have the, you have your grunge riders, you have your sport bikes, yeah. you, have, you have your different communities inside yeah. motor motorcycles, Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. And you get just So, you can have all of those in yeah, the, the different, in the different uh, sections suits. of the... Suits. Thank you. The suits. Of the okay, as long as there's one card for like people like me on their little scooters going. Boop, there boop, should boop, be a scooter. Okay. Suit. There you go. A suit of scooters. Okay, or commuter. A commuter. commuter suit. Oh, commuters. There you go. Yeah, see? see? Kevin, tell us how you and Don met. Be <gasps> <laughs> 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 nice. Why are you worried, Don? There's a, Don's turning red. There's an embarrassing She's story. A little red. What's happening? <laughs> uh, we met at a college party. Uh, no big surprise. Uh, although, did, when she walked in, and I specifically remember this to this day. She I walked in, I look at all my friends and go, that's trouble. <laughs> Were you right? Yeah. yeah okay. That is the inside information. Thank you. <laughs> well, apparently the good kind, because you're still here. Oh, yeah. yeah. And, and you guys actually seem to get along, which is awesome. <laughs> yeah. no. I'm good with trouble. This is, this is where I live. Oh, yeah. That is true. I am his ultimate shit show. Yeah. Okay, so Peggy, tell yes. us about how you and Lisa met. We met playing an online game called Neopets. Oh. Yeah, because I've got two kids and she, her best friend had kids around the same age. And it turns out that, because back then everybody's on the websites, right? And this one website that we both had um, memberships on had a little gay corner for, well, it was a gay website, and it had a little corner for people with kids looking for things to do with your kids. Okay. And then they would talk, oh, I'm playing this game with my kids. So you, anyway, it's this whole process on this silly little game. And so we ended up meeting over this game because I was playing because of my kids. She was playing because of her friend's kids. and then we I was start, playing because I am a kid. Well, you yeah. started playing because of your friend's kids and a step, oh, really? <laughs> Oh, well, there's a secret. To play for me. There's a secret. I thought that's how you found out about it. Anyway, there was this big convoluted thing. So we ended up meeting through playing this game, Neo Neopets, just chatting. Because neither one of us wanted to do the meet market. And that was text chat. Today. Or, was that, or was, that, text. was that audio? Okay. Text, initially, mostly mm -hmm. check, text mm -hmm. at first. But we, we didn't want to do the online meet markets. Mm -hmm. Any sites that were for single people back then, it's like meat market. No. Mm -hmm. Matt started talking and it got a little less innocent and a little less innocent. <laughs> okay. All through text still. All through text and so, stuff so just how chatting. Was, well, how was the first time you actually physically met? Um, well, we video chatted. Well, that's, oh, video, oh, video chatted Yeah, first. we video chatted. Then we, then we started video chatting and we, okay. were, we were just friends for the longest time for over a mm -hmm. year. And then we got to meet in person for the first time. And you know, we're like, well, you know, we're two consenting adults, ha, 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 whatever happens, happens. And it's like, well, we're married now. <laughs> okay, That's right. our best story. Well, we jumped across there, folks. I think there was a, there was a space we missed, but you know, well, I mean, I you think, understand. I think we want to skip, well, I think, I mean, we want to skip the lesbian porn part of it, okay? Well, <laughs> Just saying. I think I was saying that, but you yeah. go ahead and say it, I mean. I, I usually do say it. This is what I do on the... <laughs> Read the shirt, folks. And how Eight. many years later are we? 18 in yeah. this, this August. Kevin's getting more fun by the minute. <laughs> it's fine. That's what they tell me. Until I don't. Until he doesn't. And then, <laughs> then I put him to bed. Like, okay, night night, Kevin. Yeah, you're done. All done. Oh, my eyes are watering. If you were to have a say no to the deck face off between the two of you trying to convince us, be the best influence towards a no, Kevin or Peggy? Me. Oh. Coming out strong. Wow. Oh yeah, coming out strong. I wrote a guidebook for it. <laughs> that was for say yes to the deck. But that's also to help you, 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 you start off, you have to say no to four or five other decks. Mm, See. Explain that. Okay, okay. So basically, basically, 
Lisa does a thing called say yes to the deck. Mm -hmm. So what happens is people end up, I got four or five decks I want, but I only want to buy one, right? So it's like, you, but you ask them, you start asking people questions like, okay, what's your budget? Um, mm -hmm. Are you, are you, do you get overwhelmed if you get too many decks at the same time? Um, do you have, do you have a deck of the decks that you say you want right now? Do you have other, other decks in your collection that already have the same look and feel? So you're just going to end up with duplicates that you're not going to use and things like that. So I've been doing this with her on her channel for two years now. This is a trick question for Kevin. <laughs> no, no, I think you have the right answer. I think she would win, 100%. Yeah, yeah, because like I said, I've been... You, you have, you have I mean, educated knowledge yes. of, of, the, of the whys yeah, and yeah, the yeah. what fors yeah. that I could not... Present. I mean, and because and because you're level. All I could say is no. We don't have enough money. Yeah, because you're level. <laughs> well, and, and see, and, and you're well. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Your level of interest is different. So you're going to go. Well, is this a tarot or an oracle deck? Well, how often do you work with your oracle decks? Will this pair with a deck that's already in your? Connection? I don't know what those two things exactly. the difference is. So I apologize. <laughs> no, no exactly, exactly. So it's it's a it's a trick question for Kevin. He can't. That's no true. offense, but you can't answer it. Not in the same way. It's unless it's unless it's literally like we have got no money, or I say so, or <laughs> unless you unless you're pulling a power trip, you're not going to win this one. Correct. Based on strictly logic, but I concur. But I think if you were to say no, if you were to say, "Oh, sorry, honey, this is a really bad idea this week," I don't think she would even care. I think she would. I I I just feel like you guys have enough caring and respect. Oh well. But if you felt like you needed to say no, that I don't think there'd be this. Right, because if I said no, there's a reason, because I would, wouldn't yeah, yeah, normally yeah, yeah. say no. No, yeah, yeah. It's I wouldn't. Yeah, so so if I said no, there's you something weird. Kevin said there? He said he wouldn't normally <laughs> say no. That's why I'm sitting here. <laughs> Kevin this... never tells me no. I mean, yeah. let's just be honest. Mm. No, but I'm saying, like, so if, if for some reason Kevin said no, it's like, oh, that's not a good idea right now. Like, it could just be simply, I don't have time to take you to the store. Right? It could be anything. But if you said no, if Kevin said for. no, I don't think you'd feel like you had a lot of reason to be pushing. Sure. They're busy again. <laughs> but I don't think she would feel like she had a lot of reason to push back or get upset. Because I don't think you say no unless you actually feel like you should. No, and I typically, I mean, yeah. you know, I get, every time we go on vacation yeah. at every beach town, we go into the, the, the uh, metaphysical shops. Yeah. And I walk in yep. with, with Dawn in the metaphysical shops. And yep. I... Look at the stuff, and you know, I, I it is some of it is it's, fascinating. Oh, it's really cool to look at. I, but I, I'm, very, I'm, I'm only interested in a very small part of it myself. So yeah, I, I love playing with the little bowl. I don't know what's called. Singing bowls. bowls. I love yeah. those. Yeah. I'm a little kid. I'm really, I, I'm just oh, an eight yeah. year old trapped in an old man's body. Yeah, pretty. But yeah, right. I like playing with all the little toys, and then yeah. after that, I usually walk outside. And you just carry all her stuff back to the car. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Once every three months. I think months, I'm actually play. talking her into decks because Don will ask me. Should uh -oh. I buy that deck? Should I have the deck? I'm like, if you want the deck, buy the deck. I don't oh, care. Everybody's going if to it makes you happy, show. we're we're on this earth a short yeah. time. If exactly. it makes you happy, buy it. I would probably say yes way more often if we have more space. Space has always been our issue, so. I'm sorry. What's your what name? Tucker? Tucker's face. What's Tucker? Oh, he's he, being cute he again. He had this, like, why are you people interrupting my neck <laughs> face going on? Anyway. There's an annoying sorry. dog over here is what the no, problem is. No, I think you could if you felt like you needed to, though. Well, of course. Yeah. But that's so, about having a relationship. Exactly, that's about, exactly. Know. Yeah, you guys have got a good thing going. You could you could say no once or twice a year if you absolutely had to. <laughs> I don't know what would happen if, if we had, if, 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 our, if our, actually, she could put way more ducks up than she does. So I need to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> Since both of you have been in a relationship for quite some time. Not with each other, though. Not with each other. Just <laughs> clarify. clarify just, yes. We don't want to confuse anybody. Oh, no, let's not confuse anybody. What's one piece of relationship advice that you would pass along? Well, the piece of advice that I always say is talk, discuss everything. Talk it to death. Come back and talk some more. And if something's going on, don't be afraid to just talk it to death. It's actually the same thing I had. Listen, mm -hmm. communicate. Listen, communicate. That's... That's about the only. That's about the only advice. Because without communication, and for you're... God's sakes, be honest. Oh God. Oh. <laughs> oh God. Yeah. 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 Honest. Okay. So honest communication. Mm -hmm. Honest communication, and and if that means that's if that means that's the only thing you're talking about all freaking day is that one thing. Let's do it. Don't you know how that feels, honey? <laughs> Look at her. She's like breaking up. It's like, oh yeah, we've never done that. <laughs> Not once. Or like a 15,000 times, but not just once. Yeah, no, communicate, that's that's it. That's I don't think I have any other advice. What is your favorite 
fandom. Like if you were to pick a fandom, something that you're into, some sort of movie, oh, TV God. series, oh. franchise. That's a good one. I'm a science Big fiction question. geek. Yeah, same. But I'm so generic and generalized about it. I don't think this That's one's on you. You've got to carry this one. Ooh. Put all the pressure on. Motorcycle me. magazines. No, there you go. no, I mean, no. Hold, Kevin. I'm helping. <laughs> no, no, actually, I don't read a lot of motorcycle magazines. Or I don't read a lot that. anymore. I don't. I don't read a lot. Uh, oh, Dungeons and Dragons. Yes. Oh, there you go. Nope. Yes, no. I actually play. I watch Critical Role. I've introduced Dawn to Critical Role. Nice. And we watch it together now, so that's something we do together. It's pretty yeah, awesome. Yeah, I just I just kind of cruise around YouTube videos and just chillax. I don't I don't really I used to read science fiction nonstop, and then you know what happened? I started getting into a little bit of writing, and then I was like, oh, I don't want to read it anymore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't write anymore either because I'm just too busy. But yeah. It's, Science fiction was always my thing, um, but nothing special these days, I don't think. Have you played Dungeons and Dragons? I have. You have. I have. Um, both my both of my sons have been dungeon masters off and on since they were teenagers. Okay. Haven't played anything super involved, and I'm really shitty at getting into character. Really. Really shitty at it, yeah. But I played. Well, I played. you know why? Mm. You haven't found a character. You haven't picked a character that's like you. the The secret to Dungeons and Dragons and playing is yeah. play something that's similar to yourself. That's true. I don't know. So far, every time we've had a chance to play properly, it's it's like just just the time suck to set it all up. It gets it's like oh. Aww. <laughs> but it, don't forget, like thanks to COVID, we've been sitting at home. Like you know, it's like so you can only really play online and stuff, and it's like it's oh. a different environment. Yeah, at least that's where it, we are. So. I, well, I I would recommend maybe maybe try it again. I, I know. Maybe I hear you there's play a. Maybe game UGM. <gasps> there you go. Oh, oh well, I'm not the best game master for sure. That's okay. You don't need to be. But I hear, I hear there might be a, a tarot-related Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, I heard about that. So. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? <laughs> they were talking about it just this morning, and it's like I disconnected it. But oh yeah, right. We were already just talking about that. Now that'd be fun. I think that'd so. That'd be a lot of fun. The, and oh yeah, that'd be a lot of fun. And there's a chance I might be helping, helping. with that too. Ooh, now that's interesting. Oh, so you are getting sucked in. You both have to answer this question. Mm. You can answer it any way you like, but if you true, <laughs> false. Okay, wait, no. Okay, there's a specific no, sort of answer I'm looking for. Well, did that get answered any way I like? Okay, okay. If you were an ice cream flavor, what flavor would you be? I believe in you. I would be. <laughs> wait for it. French vanilla. You're like, well, pfft, that's boring, right? Yeah. But if you've had really good, good French, vanilla. French vanilla, there's there's a hidden bit to it. That's what I am. But, I look like that's an average old white guy. But if I am, from but if you dig a little deeper, you taste a little longer. It expands. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. See, I think I'd be chocolate mint. Chocolate mint. Well, yeah, because you're just picking that because that's my favorite flavor. <laughs> because you don't <laughs> lick yourself. Oh no! Oh. Oh, <laughs> and we're back to the lesbian porn. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> it all <laughs> comes around <laughs> in the <laughs> end. It's like. It's good. I love how you bring it around. <laughs> I can't believe you trusted me. It's like, I'm listening to this question going like, and yours was a good answer though. Yours was a good answer, but I- Not as good as yours. <laughs> that was the best answer. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. Mine was, no, mine was a really, really bad answer for all the best reasons. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> okay, so my favorite ice cream though is chocolate peanut butter. Cause that's just like, I don't know. It's just, there's something about it. Something about it. You still have a picture flavor that defines you. That defines me? Well, that defines you. <laughs> <laughs> we broke Lisa. I literally can't remember. <laughs> we broke her. Uh, a flavor that defines me. So I gotta pretend to be serious while my while my eyes are still watering from laughing so hard. My God, I hate. It's when you make yourself laugh that you cry the hardest. Mm -hmm. You know. Agreed. Anyway, anyway, flavor that defines me. And oh, I love that. I love the French vanilla answer though, but. 
I can't think of myself as an ice cream flavor. <laughs> it's just, it's fine, we're good. No, you got a good answer, Ari. You just go I with that. That was, that was a good answer. Uh, any, any parting words of wisdom or advice for the tarot tube community? Oh, God. From someone who doesn't know the tarot tube community? Mm. Absolutely. <sighs> See, I, I, I always say two things. It's like, you don't know what shit, and your way is the right way. That's, that's wow, kind of something that's I say all the time. that's very zen. I like that. Yeah, because people, you know, no two people are going to practice the same. So it's, it, it's not something that comes with a definitive guidebook. So that's, that's what I always say. Do what you love. So what do you wish that other people knew about us? Oh, you guys. Yeah. I don't know. Do you have an answer about ready to go? I'll well, think for a minute. I mean, I'll be honest. I, I have not. Sorry, I have not watched any of Dawn's videos. I have seen parts and pieces. I know. Yeah. You know sort. Sorry, you guys can. Uh, I don't. Comments. Go I nuts. Don't. Go nuts. I don't. I don't watch much either because I I hear her recording it right. But I will say, and I don't know if this comes across her channel, but Dawn really cares. Yeah. She cares about you guys mm -hmm. and the community, and about helping you guys. That is true. And that, that I is, see that. I, I assume you guys see that, but I don't know. Yeah, no, I think I think definitely, like, I mean, you guys are both doing it because it's your passion. And it's really easy for people that don't know you to lose track of that. Because, like, everything else, I, I don't know. You guys, you guys, you guys could, would still be making videos no matter what. Just whatever. And if, if YouTube goes away or whatever, you'd still be finding ways to do it. But no, you guys, you guys are both just very, very committed to what you're doing. Like, it's not just something you're screwing around with. It's something you're, 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 yeah, yeah, that, that. I'm stealing his answer again. I'm stealing Kevin's answer, but yeah. And we're out. <laughs> and we're out. <laughs> okay, well, good luck getting that. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you missed the first part, please pop over to Dawn's channel to check that out. Thank you for watching. Yes, like, subscribe, ring the bell, do all the things. Do all the things. See you later. Bye. Bye.